Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to be looking at exam structure and specifically paper one, that is your writing exam. So a few quick facts about this paper are that it's worth 60 marks, it's, it's worth an overall 50% of the grade, and you are given one hour, 30 minutes to solve this. So it's a 45 minute split between each section and you have two sections in the exam. Now first we'll begin by looking at the directed writing, that is section one. And in this section, you get 15 marks for task fulfillment, that is how well you understand the question and elaborate the points given to you, and another 15 for language accuracy and precision. So we'll be looking at, this, uh, at these assessment objectives in detail in a couple of minutes, but first we want to be clear on what kind of a task directed writing is. So in this section, you are asked to write either a letter, report, article, or speech, on a topic that will either be school, community, or work-centered. And you have to write under 300 words um, in this section. And uh, roughly how this is structured is that you are given a set of three bullet points that you have to elaborate. You also have to show awareness of situation and inject some personal opinion, uh, give some recommendations to wrap it all up. and. And of course, you have to show awareness of situation, purpose, and audience, and these are very uh, important benchmarks that we'll be looking at later on. Now coming to section two, that is composition, and this is the section where you get a choice right. So in section one, we just get one compulsory question that we have to attempt, but here you get five different essay topics, and you can choose which to attempt. So you will get one, one descriptive writing topic two narrative topics and two argumentative writing topics. And you will have to write 350 to 500 words on whichever topic you choose. So basically in this section, you are tested on the quality, relevance, and originality of, of your content, as well as on language skills and, and accuracy. Now don't worry, we'll be looking at each of these essay types in detail in the following modules, so, so stick with me. Lastly, we want to look at, you know, exactly what you are graded on. How are you tested? And that's the big question that we all want an answer to, right? So in, in both sections, you will basically be tested on five different writing skills or objectives. Number one is articulating experience and expressing what is thought, felt, and imagined. Number two, sequencing facts, ideas, and opinions. Number three, using a range of appropriate vocabulary. Number four, using register appropriate to audience and context. And number five, making accurate use of spelling, punctuation, and grammar. So I have modeled my course specifically according to these benchmarks. You will be hearing me go on and on about these writing objectives. We will be learning how to improve vocabulary, how to write better descriptions, and, and better stories in more expressive ways, and of course how to clean up our writing so it's better structured in a grammatical sense. All right, so those were some of the assessment objectives that were common to both section one and section two, but now we want to look at two reading objectives that are primarily tested in section one that is directed writing. And these are demonstrating understanding of first of all explicit meanings and secondly, of implicit meanings and attitudes. So oftentimes, what you have to do in section one is to pick out the information provided in the question in order to formulate a complete sequence of events that, that makes sense and is also relevant to the task. And you may also have to provide some of your own personal opinions with reasoning. And so how you do this is by, is by picking out the situation described in the question and picking out the explicit meanings and using those as a foundation to build upon for your writing. And then, of course, filling in the gaps where necessary. So don't worry, I'll be taking you through all of this exactly so you know how to go about it. I won't be leaving you in the dark. So, But for now, I want you to hop on over to the next video where we continue talking about exam structure. See you there.